iceberg here in this video we're going to recreate uh, this uh, part uh, of uh, a page uh, from this uh, ux kit uh, that you're going to find on uh, ls graphics i'm going to leave the link in the description and uh, now without further ado let's jump uh, right uh, into the tutorial so the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use the desktop 1440 pixels uh, in order to create uh, the base frame and as you can see now, I have uh, the same background color as uh, the uh, desktop, which is white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it just so that it's more visible. And then the very next thing is I'm going to change the name of this frame to one. And I'm going to start uh, and lay the foundation. So for this UX kit, uh, they have uh, this uh, a breadcrumb at the top. So I'm just going to write in uh, electronics and I'm going to set uh, the font to SF Pro display let's make it uh, 14 pixels and uh, what I'm gonna do next uh, is uh, I'm actually going to start adding some uh, layout grids uh, in between uh, so let's add the columns let's add 12 columns and we're going to add just a little bit of margin just so that it's little bit easier to have some uh, breathing room also going to change the color slightly so that it's not really too visible let's do that and uh, now i'm going to duplicate this uh, two times i'm going to write apple i'm going to write apple iphone 12. i'm going to use uh, the slash over here Let's increase uh, the size of the slash. Let's bring it over here. And uh, we are going to make uh, these first elements of uh, a darker gray color, such as this one right here. Okay, this is about uh, it. Now let's uh, the structure because this is something that uh, I always like to do whenever I'm approaching uh, a project for the first time. Uh, I just want to create like the basic structure of the page, just that we have like the the high level vision, if you wish. I'm going to use uh, grace just this one, make it way lighter, and uh, on the right, uh, we're actually going to make uh, the text so let's increase uh, font size I'm going to add it right over here let's make it bold and I'm going to copy and paste uh, the text from the original yep and let's make it smaller I'm using this uh, tool called uh, Capture Text, which enables you to capture text from uh, a image. So, needless to say, really, really useful. And uh, let's make this one gray. Let's make it medium. We're going to add some stars here. So let's use uh, nuclear icons in order to add uh, the stars. Let's write star. And we're gonna go with this one. All right, let's navigate it a few times. Let's make it a tiny bit smaller. And the first four we do have this color, uh, for some reason that didn't catch. Okay, here we go. Let's make this stroke the same color. And for this one, so we're going to use this color, make it lighter. All right, so we have uh, our base uh, for this design. Now we're going to create uh, the sections uh, and actually Let's increase the size of this title just a little bit. Yeah, it's about, it's about right. 
and uh, as I was saying, uh, let's uh, add uh, the section below, which is memory. Let's write in stock. And here we're going to have the different options. So let's uh, add some rectangles. A little bit of corner radius just to make it more user friendly. Let's make it two. Let's add 24 and then let's center it uh, vertically. And uh, yeah, that should uh, pretty much do. <coughs> now we're going to do um, a trick which is using option, which is option alt, and then shift. Then let's move all of this to the right. Then use command D a few times. We have the duplicates. 64, this one's going to be 128 into 56. All right. So we have uh, the base uh, for this. Uh, now we're going to duplicate this one more time. Right. The original price. Now we're going to duplicate this. Write the new price. All right. Let's make them um, just two points smaller. And we're pretty much set. Now, very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this right here. Let's bring it down just a little bit. And we're going to stretch it. Let's add some arrows. I'm looking for this one right here. Perfect. Let's increase the size. Just a little bit. Let's duplicate it and then Shift V to flip it vertically. Let's change the color. Let's bring this one a bit over here. And let's say we have uh, the base button. All right. Let's increase the size of this one card let's bring it on the right and let's find uh, the card icon okay this will do and since we want to give it uh, with a bit of visual emphasis uh, to this section what we're gonna do is we're actually going to Make this white uh, and then change this one uh, to this color right here. Let's remove the stroke. Let's bring it all the way down. And here we have uh, our call to action. And by the way, guys, if you're interested uh, in uh, uh, becoming a UI UX designer or a web designer or even just uh, level up your design skills, uh, what I did recently is uh, I created this uh, academy which uh, contains over 40 hours of um, the courses that I created over the past years. And this includes uh, courses uh, uh, both for design theory, design softwares, but also how to find and how to sell to high ticket design clients so that you can get uh, your either freelance uh, design job uh, that, that you prefer or uh, a full time job. So feel free to check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description. But now let's go back to the actual design. So let's duplicate this one one more time over here. And uh, we're going to write uh, by now. Perfect. Center this one. And uh, we are going to write in wish list All 
side and uh, we're going to add a few different icons let's, uh, let's write love for finding a heart icon then we're going to use uh, a plus for the compare and uh, we are probably going to use uh, something around uh, these lines well, that's quite it's quite big let's make it just a little bit smaller as well as this one here change the color and uh, here we go so wish list uh, then compare we're gonna need uh, one more for the share and we can go with uh, oh, this one will do All right, so let's bring this one up here and let's uh, group these guys. This one here and then use the distribute horizontal spacing and we are in business. All right, so it's going pretty well. Let's bring this one up just a bit. And here we're going to have uh, the frequently asked uh, questions. So description, or actually the description and the frequently asked questions. Let's increase the size just a bit. And uh, let's make uh, this one in line to divide uh, this section from the previous one. And that'll work pretty efficiently. All right, let's bring this one here. Let's bring this on the right hand side. And uh, here we're going to essentially duplicate this. And then we're going to duplicate it uh, another time. Characteristics and uh, reviews. We're going to change the orientation of this uh, right here. That is 90 degrees. All right, perfect. Uh, we're just needing the mock up uh, of uh, the iPhone, and uh, we're, we're pretty much set. So let's go ahead and uh, for this one specifically, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go on uh, the Figma community. So just right here. And I'm going to write in iPhone. And let's see what uh, we can find uh, in the Figma community. Let's take a moment see how it goes uh, did I even write anything I haven't okay that's, that's probably the reason why nothing was coming up um, <laughs> okay so let's find something similar in the original one we had like a almost like a wireframe um, just so many good ones this one looks really really clean and nice them uh, by frames go check them out or check him out or her uh, I don't know who created this but it's bloody awesome so yeah that's uh, that's great let's bring it uh, over here and uh, actually what I, what I like to do is whenever I have like the master component I like to create a copy add it in the UI component section and uh, yeah just left leave uh, the rest on the side right let's 
let's add a few descriptive images right here. And uh, we are pretty much set. Actually, one last thing. Are we going to copy and paste the style by using Option Command C? Selecting all of this, Option Command V. And uh, yeah, here we go. So really hope uh, you enjoyed uh, this tutorial. And uh, again, guys, have a look at uh, the link in the description to see the full wireframe kit. Uh, it's really is uh, amazing and really well done, uh, pixel perfect and all uh, the good things that we like. So really hope you enjoyed this, uh, this video. And again, guys, if you're looking to learn uh, UI, UX uh, or web design on my channel, I have, uh, I think we're almost at 700 videos that I created over the past uh, several years. So if you're interested in learning more about this field, uh, definitely check it out and I'll see you in the very next video.